was kind of a clusterfuck, the whole situation. Because Ruben doesn't come from the world of orchestral musicians. Ruben comes from a world of of rock. The easiest part was finding the one violinist that Ruben wanted, Leah Weiss, who's more a fiddle player, plays old time music mostly, and actually doesn't really play violin. Uh, finding a violinist was really hard. The violinist that we ended up using, um, Brian Chang, he, he's a master student, I believe, at Peabody. He ends up showing up to the gig like three hours late <laughs> and shows up in like super nice black tie suit and was profusely apologetic. That's why I had to fill in um, with the cellist and Leah. So then the, uh, the cellist, the cellist shows up and she looks awesome, perfect uh, wardrobe for the event, opened up her soft shell case with her cello in it, let out a gasp. The bridge on her cello had collapsed in the car ride. The uh, center post, that had fallen down. We did not have any tools. <laughs> we were in an unfamiliar house, like an hour and a half away from civilization. We couldn't get a rehearsal in before the recording which is kind of absolutely necessary for that kind of world. We took a chance. You were the girl who danced on a mountain Till they came and they took you away You became locked inside your own The body is a prison with no escape. Oh, yeah, shiver and shake. Your whole body aches. At least it's real. Something no one can take. Candy's been totally self-indulgent for me for the first two albums, you know, and now it's like Joey's in the picture. I got this other partner to consider, and 
the music is improved for it, the business end is improved for it. I'm more of the logical, rational guy that like takes a step back and puts everything into, into perspective. At the heart of it, Rube is more of like an artist's artist that, um, you know, will doubt himself and will fuss over little things that may or may not matter and, and get into the cracks of music and why he's making it. And Joey, for me, is more of a professional musician where he's kind of there, um, approaching it, just wants to get it finished and sounding great and like kind of the bullshit surrounding anything matters a lot less to him you know we we do clash all the time on it like i you know pick apart the the songs because i don't think things are right and he's just you know like, well it doesn't matter because of what we're doing you know these parts can be off and so i'm i'm much more picky about the recordings definitely and like if, if my parts are a little bit off um i'm not happy with it and he's completely okay with it I feel like the root of this music has no rules. Like the old Delta Blues um, tunes that you hear these guys render on these old tapes and old records um, sound really raucous. They sound really raw. And um, there's a lot of times where they're very inconsistent. So I think it's cool. You know, like we just work it out. And we, we have our differences and that's fine. I'm not going to tell Rube not to be a Rube. I'm not going to tell Joey not to be Joey. It's, you know, however it exists right now is, is the way it should be, better or worse. Mm -hmm.